becoming more spring-like here in the UK. I'm getting out with my tarp and my bivy a lot more and I'm practicing different setups and things like that. One book that's on our bookshelf that's definitely helped is the Rayway Tarp Book. It's an essential guide, I think, for anyone who's out playing with tarps, building their own tarps, doing their own shelters, things like that. It's written by Ray Jardine, who is a trail guide up in North America, and he's traveled all over the American Rockies, Canadian Rockies, things like that, using a tarp and definitely an advocate of a tarp over a tent. Although, at the start of the book, it goes through the history of what a tarp is and why we came to use it. Starting off with the old plastic style that he got given as an instructor way back when, going through the process of changing it, and how is different setups, different ways of using a tarp. And throughout the book, it's definitely an eye opener on why people would use a tarp in different places. So you've got the history of the tarp, the advantages of a tarp, when you wouldn't use a tarp, choosing a, char a tarp setup, um, a place where you would pitch a tarp, different knots, different um, features of different tarps that are out there, poles, different shelters. There's also a, a section on avoiding ticks and other creatures because you're a bit more out in the open with the tarp. And there's a big section as well on where you wouldn't use a tarp, so where you would probably want to use a tent. A great book to read through, um, something you can put on the shelf, take off, read every now and again, have a look through for some inspiration. There's also a section on making your own tarp, so if you ever wanted to make your own tarp out of just a, the cheap blue things that you can get from like B&Q or a wholesaler or a DIY shop, or if you want to buy some more specialist fabric, there's all the things you need in here on how to sew it, what way you want it, what dimensions you might want, what tabs, different things you might need, how to seal the seams. So a good book all round. Definitely a book for anyone who wants to get into using a tarp or just a bit of an idea on it. Um, so it was a limited edi edition print. Um, we've got our, a lot printed and bought to Alpkit especially um, through the, the distributors. So yeah. Definitely one of the best books that I think we've got on the bookshelf. Next week, um, Ben, the factory manager, he's a really keen boulder and climber. He's going to take a look at the Font 7 and 8 books. So we've got the Font 5 and 6 and the Font 7 and 8. Um, he's going to go through with an Easter trip coming up soon, possibly to Font, um, or if you're thinking of going out for Whitson or slightly later in the year. Great books for ticking different routes and I'm sure Ben will have a good idea of what you would get out of using this book. So, there you go. I'll put a link to the books online.